Oh no. Hi guys, it is Katie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Today's video is going to be a Hailey Bieber, Hailey Baldwin inspired pink and in pink inspired makeup look and hair look. And I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing you in the video. Bye. So I'm going to start with my primer. This is the same one I always use. It's the Revolution Hydrate and Prime Primer. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. Good evening. My face feels really dry, even though I did put moisturizer on. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Can you see me sitting in the mirror? So, yeah. But, well, my face feels a bit sticky, but we're just roll with it. And then, so yeah, I'm just going to use my concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. So, it is like 3, 4 in the afternoon and I'm just getting ready. I think up to like 12 and then I went for a shower, wash my hair and that and then I just spent ages watching videos of the Jonas Brothers. I never used to be a big Jonas Brothers fan, but then I watched a documentary last night, Chasing Happiness, and then, um, yeah, I've just been watching loads of their stuff, and I don't know why, I mean, I'm gutted I didn't go see them when they played in Glasgow, like, it did look like such a fun show, but I'll come, I'll go next time when they come back, if they don't split up again. Let's fingers crossed the Jonas Brothers don't split up because now that I've found a, a new found love for them <laughs> they can't split up until they even right and then so oh yeah for, so I was just using the Rimmel London Lasting Radiance concealer on my eyes there so I'm then going to go in with the Revolution Flawless 3 palette if I can find a Decent brush, look at how bad my skin is. My skin's all broken out of them. Hey, let's go for pink. So, not that brush, no. We'll go for pink. Use you. Sure. So, I'm going to use this kind of pinky purple shade, just as a kind of base tone. So, yeah, I'm just going back and forth. I'm going to kind of I've also been watching that the Beavers on watch on Facebook watch and it's really good like I think it's three episodes a week well two pre-filmed episodes a week and then they go live on a Friday and it's really good like you can really see how much Justin and Hayley are enjoying married life and bless them they are really cute together like so cute together so after I've done that pinky shade, I'm going to go in with the Make It 3 palette and I'm going to take Dust, Burnout, Blur and Trick I'm going to put all three of them together and I'm just going to like pat that onto my lid Taking dust, burnout, buzz, and trick again <clears throat> and pan on the other eyelid. Because when you look at the photo, it does look like it is really only the two pinky shades. I have a completely different eye shape from what Hayley does though, so yeah, I have different face shape as well, she's just gorgeous. That's something else, man. Big kiddo crush for Hayley Bieber, Hayley Baldwin. 
But yeah, that's just what I'm doing for the eyes for the nose, and then we will come back to the eyes in a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, in here is like her eyes are a completely different shape from mine, and the color is so much more pigmented. But you know, we're just gonna roll and see how it goes. So this is all I'm doing for eyes just now. We're gonna come back to eyes. I'm gonna move on to my face, and the foundation I'm gonna use is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Matte Coverage in Vanilla Rose, Rose Vanilla, Rose Vanilla. So I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. It's quite hard to tell how much you're getting out of this because my mum used to ones that you like you pump down, so like it's easier to tell. But anyway, it just falls here. And then I'm just gonna dot this around. I don't know why I dot it on. I just find it easier. I don't like like putting my beer blender on my hand and putting it on. I don't know why. I just got that on my hair. <laughs> I can always load up the coverage. Just give us some of that to that side. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. I'll do one later and then I'll build it up. If I can find my beauty blender. <laughs> right here. So, I've got my beauty blender. Well, it's not a beauty blender, it's a beauty sponge. And I use it damp. But it saved me having to go and damp it in the kitchen or in the bathroom. I've got my water spray and my sponge <laughs> and then I'm going to work up the way of the beauty blender, just dabbing it in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody else does the same but like when they're putting their foundation on they make really weird faces. I know people do when they're putting their mascara on but when I put my foundation on, I always find that I make weird faces, and I'll, or whenever I'm doing any of my makeup, it's like weird faces. Just on dab, 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 dab. I'm definitely gonna put another layer on for that flawless look. But Haley's looked like she had flawless skin. Like, so she should hurry up and release her skin routine now. If she's bringing out skincare and do it because. Her skin is amazing. Like, I know she's like lazy on their lives and stuff. Like, she does take care of her skin and she's really taking care of like, the products she's putting in and watching as well what they're eating because that also affects your skin. Whereas in this lockdown, I've been eating sugar, 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 sugar. So, yeah, my face just reflects that all I've been eating is sugar. Yeah, be kind to your skin. But it's hard when there's so much nice food about. No, I know. I'm just putting another in my foundation on because I didn't have enough on. And I said, <laughs> everywhere. I'm sitting at such a weird angle, I didn't realise that. I need to sit up straight here. You're going to get a sore back. And I'm just in the Again, just dabbing with the sponge. Make sure it's all blended. My hair is in my face. Again. I should have blended it through my neck. I forgot that my neck was a thing. I'll just drag that down a wee bit. This foundation has as well, a really nice coverage. But it oxidizes really quickly, like you can even see just on my hand and how much that's oxidized already. Right, what was it? Concealer. So I am using uh, oh, the 
Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And we put it on in the chin. Use it. My spots come up to my. I say seems really oxidized, I think it's because that's where the window is and I can just see it. And then I'm also going to do the triangles. Any more. Like, I really like this concealer, but I feel like when you smell it, it smells like glue. And that's not good, but as long as it stays put. the same beauty blender and just blend that out. Starting again, I don't know why I always start like down at my chin and my jaw and blend up the way rather than blending down so I go up and across but I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my eye as well. So we just let them just blend it out. Blend it out. That's all I'm gonna say. Just blend, 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 blend. But if we keep blending, it can be sorted. I think. Good deal. So that is the concealer. I'm kind of. So I've went and attempted to do my eyebrows but as you can see they really need wax, they're threaded and I just can't get that done. So just to kind of fill them in a wee bit I used the Revolution Makeup Revolution London pen, brow pencil in the shade Rage and Brown. And then I'm going to move on to contour now and powders and finish everything up. So for a cream contour I actually use the Revolution foundation stick in the shade F5. So I'm just going to put that obviously where you put your powder. So just like below the cheekbone I'm just going to dab that. And then coming down here, up here, down here and then along and down along the forehead and down kind of making it look like a three and then I'm just going to do a couple on the nose and then I'm going to blend this actually with a brush and not my sponge so yeah you blend it up the way as well And then blend the one in your jaw down. Oh, that's what I do. And then up the way. And then I start from the middle and in circular motions. And then after that I go in with my powders. So I'm going to start with my translucent powder first. So I get another wee sponge. So I'm using the Revelation Matte Base Powder in Pool. I believe it is. And then I'm just going to get my wee sponge and pick that up. Here. And I'm going to dot that kind of everywhere. I'm not going to go over with powder contour. So I'm going to put it under my eye. I also tried to fix the lighting when I went to do my eyebrows, but I don't think it's great. I need to invest in a light. 
I'm just gonna go. You can kind of see the triangle shapes. Oh, that's quite bad. And then along this side, and home. So my forehead, and I'm gonna just thing with that out the now. So you kind of down my nose and along here, but under my eyes, I'm gonna leave a little longer. So. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to take, again, it's a revolution thing. So it's revolution, revolution Contour and Glow palette thing. And I'm going to use the two, if I can get it open, the two kind of dark shades with a big brush. And I'm just going to go again everywhere that I put the foundation stick on. And I'm kind of going to go in the shape of a three again. So I'm going to start here in circular movements heading up the way. And again on the other side. On the other side. Along the forehead kind of again in circular motions. And then I'm going to get a eyeshadow brush, the contour brush, and I'm going to take the darker one and just go down my nose with that. Like so. Just gonna bring this up here a little bit. And then blush, blusher. So I'm going with the Ted Baker one and I'm going for the darker kind of pink and I'm just gonna dot that there on my cheekbones and on the other side. A bit on the chin and there. Just to rose it up. And then I'm going to go in and finish my eyes. So I put the eyeshadow on top, but I'm going to go in with the blush. So it kind of all blends out. And I'm going to go back in with the blush and put that, run that over the tops as well. So there has been a few looks where she's wore the pinks and stuff so this is kind of combination of all her pink looks so the eyeshadow is a different one from how I'm going to do the hair. I'm also going to take a wee brush with the pink and go under the eye. Oh that's in the eye kitty. You can see how bad this eyebrow is. Like it's so bad. So when he's done. We'll just ignore the eyebrows. And then I'm gonna do mascara next. So mascara wise, I am going in with the Rebel London Scandalous Eyes Reload Mascara. I'm gonna drag it out the way and up. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm going to go in with the, not Maybelline, Maybelline Lash Sensation. I love this one as well. So these two are the two. I'm just giving that a few more loose. And then gently do the bottom. And then I'm just going to take a face light. And then take the foundation of my lips. So she has got a kind of pinky peach lip look. It's not pinky, it's uh, pink, I think. Top shop lip liner. So I'm just lining my lips. And yeah. I don't really have a cupid's bow. So and I don't like to really overdraw my lips. So, I'm kind of just flat there. I'm going to just go in with the pink. So this is Ted Baker and it's the shade... Doesn't tell me. And I'm close that we met it again. I 
Ah, c'est mes rouges à Voilà. On a plus rien. Ouais, je vais Cool. That is lips as well. Nice bright pink lips. And then we're gonna go, well, I'm gonna put setting spray on all of this. So it is again a revolution and it is Pro Fix amazing makeup spray thing. And then I'm gonna put my highlighter on top to make it more, to make it pop more. I'm going in with a Revolution highlighter, but her face is glowing, so I use quite a big brush and just kind of put it everywhere where you'd have your highlighter. But using a big brush, I'm going for the kind of gold, not so gold, I don't know, the whitey goldy one, and just kind of putting it. Yeah. Everywhere. I get that glow. That glow that Haley just naturally has. Because she is stunning. So yeah. I think that is the makeup look done. So yeah. This is the makeup look. And we're going to go do hair. So I'm going to go finish drying my hair. And then I will be back. And we can do... Are here together. So I have drank my hair and we're gonna do it here. So we're gonna go for a kind of tightly pulled little bun. I feel like that is pretty easily. That was just having a quick little nice and easy guys. You know it's gonna be simple. I'm gonna brush it out and give myself another bathroom. So I'll move my pattern so it's kinda to the right. But yeah, this is always up higher. Like this, the right side of my head, head here, it's thicker than the left. Like see, that's not that even. That's not even too much bigger than my knee. And we're gonna just brush it back down. I'm just using a tangle tea there. Let me see. Oh. Push off. Come on. Let's go nice. Look very slick. Down. Now I'm just gonna use my hands to kinda smooth that out. These wonderful bubbles are from Super Rock. And then I'm just gonna wrap it a bit back. My hair not good. What can do? How good it is? Let's twist it. I'm gonna twist and wrap. Twist and wrap. So yeah, this is the finished look. It was a kind of pink Hailey Baldwin, Hailey Bieber inspired look. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, give us a like, comment down below, all the lovely stuff. And yeah, I'll see you next time on my YouTube. Bye!